Hey everyone, this is Wayward911. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we made our way over here to the desert. Gerudo Mesa. Or desert, whatever. You call it Mesa or desert, or whatever. Sounds like a broken record. Sounds like a broken record. Broken record. Record. Anyway, now there's a few things we want to be collecting here. Let's see, there's something up here. Yeah, small chest, which contains a red rupee. Cool beans. So, now we want to head over here. Ah, stupid mold orms. Leave me alone. Can actually pull these out with the claw shot. So just to get them off my ass, I'm just gonna get a few of these guys. And oh sweet, the sun's going down. That makes way for quite a few errands that I can do. Because no, folks, we're not done. We're not just here to make our way to the dungeon. No. Got a bunch of fucking collectibles to get. And I can't find my way to our first thingamabobber. Yes, that's what I'm gonna call them. Unless that's it over there. Yeah, do you see that? My god, these freaking mold orms. Uh, please allow me to get it. Uh, come on. Nope, pick up. Pick up. Alright, and we get our male dayfly. So that's pretty good. It should be entering nighttime around now, so I'm gonna transform into a wolfie. And head back over this direction. Running, running, running. Huh, there's a treasure chest right here. And inside we get another red rupee. You know, these red rupees would have been convenient before, but eh. Anyway, when is it going to become legitly nighttime? Seriously. Unless. Come on, stupid music. Whoa! Fisher almost fell into that. Would not. Would have not been good. Anyway, we want to go around, and still not here. Nope. Oh boy. Where is this thing? No, serious. That's oh. Fail! Fail! Okay! No, 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 no. We want our senses! Oh, no, no, stop lo- uh, There we go. No! Come on! Stupid Moldorns! Let's just get you. And there we go, we got a postal. All right, let's just head on through now. Cuz right now we want to get our female dayfly, which is all the way across the desert from here. Huzzah. 
There's nothing too special along the way, just like rupees and arrows and crap. So I'm not gonna bother with that stuff. Whoa, these things are vicious! Okay, let's just use this as a little walkway. I hear it. I have found it. So let's transform back into a human. Uh, hey. Come on. You know what? Get the hell out. Thank you. Now I'll pick this female day fly up. And there we go. Now. Next place we want to go is over right next to that little thingamabobber. Now let's see. Uh, go here, and then we target this little pea hat. Yes, that's what it's called, a pea hat. And do you see the Poe over there? We want that. Except for the fact that this happens. Fuck. Well, luckily we can access our wolf form. Whoa, ah. W was that just the frame rate dropping? Are you serious right now? Ah. Alright, so we can use our B attack again. Thankfully. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, so now that we've gotten those bozos out of the way, let's transform into a human just to climb our way up here. Uh, let's see. Oh. Yep, it's still here. Okay. Transform into a wolf. Get down here. Boom. And boom. All right, we got the Posol. And also, along with the Posol, we get this thing. What is this thing? Well, we get the option to warp. Let's warp it. Hmm. Remember when Elden... When the... Let's put this Because this... Is the missing part of the album. You wouldn't think it's just that little of the bridge that would be destroyed, but yeah. Anyway, we warp because we have established our new warp point over here. Hopefully not too much time passes before I can finish my deeds but yeah we have the missing part of Elden Bridge now but that's not important so let's go back to Gerudo Mesa yeah Gerudo Mesa right there All right, if we if we look over here, there's actually a little cave. We don't want to go in there because that is actually the cave of ordeals. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a 50 floor gauntlet where you fight your way through. We are not well equipped enough yet, so I'm gonna ignore that. Let's 
instead, we're gonna make our way over the here. Did I just say that like that? Oi. But, uh... <laughs> There's our next pose, so let's transform into a human. Yes, I said that. Can we reach this from here? Yes, we can. Alright, Poe, come at me. Alright, and I'll finish you. Alright, sweet. So we got that, and there's also a dig cavern right here. We're gonna want to enter it. Why? Well, let's just say that there's... A Poe. Two Poes. So let's just get the first one out of the way. Ow. And let's finish you off. There we go! Three Poes in the same minute. Well, now we can get back to our human form, equip some bombs. Uh, we might as well have the claw shot and close call right there. Okay, so we can bomb some rocks. That bombed more than I expected it to. But there are also torches. Let's just use some more bombs to blow up the rest of these guys. Pull out our lantern and... Oh, yep, yeah, lantern. Brain. Lantern. So let's light that. Like this one. I left the bo uh, bomb... Bomb... Uh, rock... Bombable rock unbombed. Anyway. We light this one up, and there we go, we get a treasure chest. What's inside the treasure chest, you may ask? Nothing too important, just an orange rupee. Alright, now let's go back outside. Now there are still a few pose left. And by a few pose, I mean like three. So let's try hunting them down before dawn breaks. Yeah, it's preferable you trek this place as a wolf simply because being a wolf is faster. Well, right here, actually, we're gonna need to transform back into a human, equip our arrows. All right, we've got a few bubblin sentries. I'm gonna knock you guys down. Way over his head. Yeah, sniping bubblins with arrows. Yeah. Alright, so we wanted to kill those guys because we need this Bulbo. Is that, is that it? Yeah. It, and it's a boar. But we use him to crash our way through here. Ow. Uh, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up! Ah, daytime. Shit. Alright, well, we can't do anything anymore with the pose, so... Yeah, I'll probably... You know what? I'm gonna go through, and then we're gonna play the waiting game, and I'll show... Oh. Hello! I forgot that he was here. So let's 
approach him and see what he has to teach us today. Badass Golden Wolf. That turns into the hero's shade. We meet again. At last, the skills I have to teach you have entered the realm of true secrecy. They are forgotten ways that do not leave our bloodline. Among the techniques I shall be teaching you are some that may even endanger you. Do you feel ready to learn these skills? I do. Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure that you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the Helm Splitter. Now then, come at me. Come at me. Alright, so we just do that. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My, hi my fifth hidden skill is... The Mortal Draw. Let it be hewn into your mind. The Mortal Draw. Sounds badass. The ways of the sword are known to many creatures, and some have strengthened their guard against shield attacks and backslices. Should you encounter such a foe, the mortal draw that I am about to teach you is most effective. You must seethe your sword and cast aside the most basic of sword skills, the Z targets. You must wait until your foe is upon you, then before the enemy can see through your ruse, you must quickly draw your blade with A. There's no defense for this. The mortal draw deals death. Very well. Now try it. Time lapse of the, I'd say, like, I don't know, six hours. He is the hero time. What a way. Draw! Hmm. That was a pointed strike. But do not forget that this technique leaves your life at risk. The fifth hidden skill, the mortal draw, has been passed on. And it's just a random slash. The Helm Splitter's demonstration before the fanfare was much more badass. There are still two hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the next time you come to and the time you come to learn the next. May we meet again? Of course we're gonna meet again. I'm a klepto. But anyway, we want to be coming back to this place. After night falls once again. Why? Because there's still Poe's over here. What? What am I hearing? No, seriously, what am I hearing? Oh, levers. Ah! Levers! Levers! Get them away from me! Whew. Okay. Oh, crap. I think we've entered some sort of bu bu some sort of bubbling fortress. All right, well we need to deal with these guys. So I'm blind. Where is he? Oh, okay. I got him. <laughs> Storm in the fortress. Alright, well that wasn't anything too severe. I do hear enemies though. But we also get arrows, so... Yeah. So just die. We're gonna ignore a lot of these guys. Don't know why so many of the lanterns are lit. Whoa. Oi, you there! Ah! Die. <laughs> yeah, kind of like Metal Gear Solid. We alert. Uh, we alert. Uh, we alert one person, and everyone comes to the scene. Everyone. There must be like some guy with the uh, with the horn or something. Draw! Yeah.
All right. Uh, oh. Hello. Why do I hear a sparkling thing? Well, I got that guy with the HUD in the way. Uh, I probably killed the guy with the key. Yeah, we need a we need to find a key in this area, and I probably already shot the guy with the key down. Unless it's you. Yeah, it's you. Anyway, we can pick up this key. Yeah. Just a small key, but... What the fuck? Have they been cooking a bubbling? A, a bulbo? Whatever. Have they could? Uh, I'm gonna cut this out of its misery. Oh, come on. Oh, what? Oh! Okay! We got a piece of heart! <laughs> nice. Alright, looks like we're still good to go. In terms of crap. And it looks like, it looks like the sun is set. That's good. That's pretty good. That means we'll be able to deal with our errands before we enter the dungeon. Anyway, let's open this place up. What's in here? Oh, shit. What's happening? What is happening? Huh, maybe you can help me break through the door. What? Dark, ominous eyes. It, oh. It's you. <laughs> Did you just hit that thing to the side? That's it. Peter's getting up on your ass. Would you use the back slice? Yeah, the back slice is this guy's weakness. Pretty much. See how quickly that went by? It's supposed to be a mini boss or something, but no. Just just no. <laughs> anyway, after severely kicking that guy's ass. I'm sorry, I don't speak ogre. I can understand Shrek perfectly well, but not your language. Oh shit! Oh, this isn't good. And this isn't the first time I've been in the burning building. Oh! Oh, the bulbul's up! It, it, are you? Yeah. I'm just, I'm just gonna say that these are bulbuls now. I don't even care. But anyway, we need to get on this thing! Aim and break through. Da 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 do 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 do. All right. Well, it's night time now. So I'm gonna dismount and go back because I need to get our pose. Now, yes, you probably saw that there was a Poe over there, but whatever. Anyway, first Poe's over here. Alright, Poe number... Actually, it's Poe number 36 or something. 35? Huh? Oh, oh, right, 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 I forget. I'm dumb. <sighs> Alright, I'll cut back to the second Poe we need here. Our second Poe of this area is over here. Well, not second Poe of the area, but you get it. Uh, anyway, let's... Oh, finish, finish, finish. Oh, come on. Oh, oh! Die. Please. And thank you. Alright. Cutting back to our... To the dungeon entrance. Uh, 
And we're back. So now our final Poe that we need to collect is right here. Right next to the dungeon entrance. House well. Anywho, we collect that and there we go! Poe soul number 37. Pretty good, if I do say so myself. There's also some torches over here. Unlit torches, might I add. So let's pull out our lantern. Light this up. And a treasure chest appears. What'd you expect? It's nothing too special though. It's just a simple purple rupee. But yeah! Alright, so that'll do it for this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Next time, we are going to start the Arbiter's Ground. So, this has been WeirdWin911. If you enjoyed this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.